Hey there guys, it's I Kill You Here again with an update to a previous tutorial that we put out here on this uh, automated fish cooking AFK fish farm I'm a jig. I don't even know what to call it. But it had a little bit of a flaw in the fact that it was letting way too many fishing rods and way too many bows get through the system. So I scratched my head a little bit and put together something for you here. And as you can see, the original design is behind me. So over to my other side, you can see uh, just over there, you can see that I put a little work in and we're going to flip over there and I'm going to show you what's going on. So oh, don't mind my other stuff there. Try to put a wall up to cover that up, but uh, it's okay. So what I did is, first of all, I added a filter here to fish filter out the raw salmon. So now all the raw salmon and fish end up in here. And I AFK'd overnight uh, nearly 24 hours on this thing straight. And so coming down here in the bottom, this is what our output looked like. Uh, as you can see, there are no bows and there are no fishing rods in this system anymore. It's all the goodies all the enchanted books and all the water bottles and things for potions and uh, of course uh, you know this uh, these boots can get out of here let's get them things out of here we don't need those if I could figure out how to avoid leather armor we'd have iron farm uh, by now but as you can see we got 49 fish cooked up there we got a half stack there a stack there and a couple of these raw sa uh, salmon were cooked up and it looks like the system is doing pretty well and I'll get to the change here in a minute but we're gonna look at what fell in here uh, so with this system two things are gonna happen you're gonna get cooked fish and your storage is gonna need to be optimally ultimately gonna be a lot less storage uh, so these are our stackable drops now um, of course we could always filter the sticks into cook too if we wanted to but those are always good for torches and for making tools and things, so we don't do that. So what we did here is basically I added another height to the hopper level. We got one block taller, and of course I added an extra chest down there even though it wasn't needed. And added this chest here to hold the excess fish. Um, and an extra hopper line uh, to filter out the uh, raw salmon so also the thing that we added was is we changed up this locking mechanism so that we could actually stock up more items so we have 5 10 15 20 non stackable items will be queued up ready to check in this furnace um, at any point in time which basically means that uh, as you can see down in this hopper right now, none of these items are going to go into uh, the furnace, which is exactly why nothing is cooking. But as you see up here, we have queued up. There's a bow and a fishing rod uh, getting ready to fall down in there. But what, we, what we're doing is, is uh, giving enough items stack up here and locking this hopper so nothing can fall through until this hopper here is filled with items so we can take this bow out and we can do that number and as we take one more uh, bow and place it in the system you'll notice that they'll begin to drop out well what happened there was all the items that wouldn't burn uh, or the, at least the first one that wouldn't burn fell out and because we had items in the system that would burn, uh, one fell in and another one fell here, uh, which allowed two items to drop out of the system, which is why when we came up here, we were now down and there you go. That the items that could cook kept falling down in, as you can see, and cooking up the fish. And so this system just allows enough items to queue up to guarantee that um, we're not going to just drop all the non-stacking items straight down here because nothing would burn and essentially cooking up some fish for us. And I did the research 
and a bow or a fishing rod, either one will cook up one fish. Uh, so there's no loss there. The only place that we might have some loss is, and I know why that happened. Excuse me, those aren't supposed to be in there. Um, I had tried to add a chest in the, where this hopper was and place a hopper facing into there to optimize our storage so that we could put raw salmon in one and raw fish in another. But ultimately, the hopper fed this hopper and left items in there which wouldn't go into the furnace anyway. So that's what happened there. But uh, the bowls, getting back on track, the bowls will not burn. Um, they will only burn half of an item. So unless there's two going through at a time, it's really not doing very much. Um, but it does remove them for us so that we don't have them to deal with. Anyways, guys, we might be able to figure out how to um, set the uh, bowls up to only go in uh, if there's two items to go in. But for now, uh, basically this system will delete the bowls for us. We don't have to touch them. And that lowers the amount of storage that we have to have over here, uh, which I think is a great benefit to us. And, uh, you know... After a full night of AFK, we've got basically two and a half stacks, nearly three stacks of fish. That's plenty of, of cooked fish to uh, keep one player going for far more than a day. So, all in all, I believe this system is going to be very beneficial to you if you're looking for... Um, a cooked fish supply if you're looking for to get looking for a way to get rid of your junk from your AFK fish farm um, if you're like me want to be as efficient as we can be with items uh, I believe that this works well because once you have you know five or ten mending bows um, you know you can afford to start throwing some things away if you're on a single player world if you're on a server then you know you have the option you know do i do i need 20 bows i've got 20 bows so let me switch to this mode you know it's it, it's as simple as removing the furnace from here you know when you're ready to cook it again cook fish again then you put it back it's you know it's that simple so okay so the modification we did here is locking this so we moved as you can see over here we were down uh, all of it was compacted into one circuit and trying to lock off of the same hopper that was feeding the furnace. So what we did is basically moved the, the comparator way up here by from one, two, three to the fourth hopper up, flipped this circuit around, uh, turned, on, turned the lever on into a comparator on compare mode out two blocks with a torch uh, and then we use the torch to go down um, into a repeater which goes into a block which locks this hopper preventing items from falling downward where they must go to the furnace until the specified requirements basically this hopper here being full of items is met uh, in which case it happened so quick you didn't even see uh, the state change so that's that's it guys for today that's my update this works a whole lot better I uh, didn't have a single mishap over a 24-hour period uh, not a single bow in this system not a single fishing rod and uh, enough cooked fish to supply you uh, for days so uh, this has been I Kill You, and uh, I'm going to sign off here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. And uh, as always, guys, if you're not subscribed, uh, I'd appreciate it a whole lot if you did. Uh, until next time, bye-bye.